Hi, my name is Carly and I'm from Ticking Together, a YouTube channel meant to provide education and raise awareness about Tourette Syndrome. You've probably clicked on this video because either A, you have Tourette Syndrome yourself, or B, you have a loved one in your life who has Tourette Syndrome or a similar tic disorder. Or maybe you clicked on it for another reason. But whatever the reason, I wanted to thank you for being here. Hi! By being here, it means you are looking to educate yourself on Tourette Syndrome and how to be a better ally for those of us who do have Tourette's. Ideally, if you're here, you are going to learn how to best support a loved one with Tourette Syndrome. Before we get started, I just wanted to remind you guys of who I am, or at least let new viewers get acquainted with me. I'm Carly, and I have Tourette Syndrome. I was diagnosed at the age of 12, but I am 23 now, and I've had tics for as long as I can remember. Tourette Syndrome is a neurological disorder, which means it differs from a mental illness in the way that it directly impacts the neurons in your brain. I always like to say that my neurons in my brain misfire and cause me to make these things that I do called tics, which are involuntary movements or sounds. For the most part, tics are completely uncontrollable. Now that the basics are out of the way, let's chat. Truly, thank you for being here. Tourette syndrome is such a misunderstood disorder with so many stigmas surrounding it. And so many of these stigmas and preconceived notions are negative. I'm sure you're familiar with what comes with supporting a loved one with Tourette syndrome, but in this video, I wanted to delve a little bit deeper into the realities of Tourette's and how you can best support someone in your life with Tourette syndrome. The most important thing to note, the most important thing to note is that Tourette syndrome and our tics are not our fault. Our tics are not our fault. The comorbidities that come along with Tourette syndrome are not our fault. And the ways we choose to cope with bad tic days are not our fault. A lot of the time I see parents of children with Tourette syndrome begging their children to just stop. Why can't you stop doing this? Stop making those weird noises. Hey, stop blinking your eyes. Stop doing those weird jerky movements. Just stop doing that. And I know this comes from a place of genuine concern and sometimes even desperation. But for me to you, this is something that you need to stop doing. As a supporter, you really need to stop telling people with Tourette syndrome or tic disorders to stop ticking. My parents and extended family are guilty of this too, even to this day. They tell me to stop making the movements I'm making or hey, stop making those sounds. But these are natural to me and important to help me release the urge that my body has built up. When they tell me to stop doing these things, I know that it's out of desperation and their own lack of control. Hi. But you have to understand that even though your loved one may be suffering and it may be hard for you, it adds a level of emotional pain to us when we are told to stop something that is completely natural to us, something that we just can't control. Tourette's in itself really is a lack of control both for the person with Tourette syndrome and their supporters and loved ones. Sure, there are times when we can hold them in for a little bit of time, suppress for a while, maybe redirect, but that's really only something we do to cater to others. And for you as the loved one, it hurts seeing someone in your life ticking, maybe perhaps even hurting themselves unintentionally, making inappropriate movements or sounds, being different from other individuals, and you knowing that there's really nothing you can do to stop it. I can assure you that it's a tough situation for everyone involved, but here's where I challenge you. It's important for you to realize that these ticks that we're doing are literally a part of us. Even though you guys watching us ticking may be really uncomfortable for you and not ideal to see, I can assure you that we as the tickers are a lot more uncomfortable than you will ever be by just watching us. Ticks for us are a form of really intense release. The urges we get before the tick comes out are similar to that of an extreme itch or an uncontrollable sneeze. They are super uncomfortable and sometimes even unbearable to sit through. These urges, called premonitory urges, are things that people without ticks will never truly understand. Imagine your body has thousands upon thousands of tiny little red fire ants crawling up and down your body and there's really nothing you can do to stop it but it's burning and itching and feeling so uncomfortable and unbearable and it's just agony and for us the only way to stop that feeling of burning intense pain 
is to let out the tick. This is why, as a loved one, you should never encourage tick suppression. While it's true that some individuals with Tourette syndrome can suppress their ticks for extended periods of time, these excruciating moments of fighting off premonitory urges are literally horrible and they take up all of our focus, all of our concentration, and all of our effort. By suppressing, we are often not fully with it in our surroundings. We're not present because all of our energy is being directed into not making a movement or sound that realistically we need to let out to calm down the fire ants or the burning. I understand that telling us to stop ticking may seem like a quick fix for you, but for us, it's unbearable and extremely challenging. And again, most of the time, we only suppress our ticks to cater to individuals without ticks. So telling us to stop or telling us to hold it in is really the opposite of what you should be doing. As a supporter, as a loved one, you can make an individual with Tourette's have a better time by doing a few key things. The number one thing you can do is obviously let the ticker do their ticks especially without fear of reprimand or ridicule. And again, I know this is not easy, especially as the parent of a child with Tourette syndrome. It cannot be easy seeing your child suffering in agony, feeling like an outcast. And you also don't wanna be seen as a bad parent by not doing your job or encouraging bad behavior. But here's the thing, ticks are not bad behavior. They are involuntary and do not align with our own ideas or beliefs. When we have vocal tics, for example, hi, it's not us saying what's on our mind. When we have painful motor tics, they're not intentional. We don't mean to be hurting ourselves. Please offer us a space where we can feel welcome and safe being unapologetically ourselves. Talk to us about our needs. Don't tiptoe around Tourette syndrome. It's not a dirty word. Even though the stigmas are so awful with people thinking people with Tourette's only swear or people with Tourette's are literally the punchline of every joke. Don't tiptoe around it. Ask us what you can do to help us during a tick attack. If we are ticking in public, help us get to a safe space where we can tick unapologetically, especially without the fear of judgment or sideways glances. And most of all, be an advocate and an ally. If your child has Tourette's syndrome, if your spouse has Tourette's, if your best friend has Tourette's, if your cousin, aunt or uncle or other family member has Tourette's syndrome, whatever the case may be, be the voice for them when they're not there and when they can't be the voice for themselves. If you're in a situation with them where they are ticking and can't advocate for themselves, step in and let others know, hey, they have Tourette syndrome and maybe even provide some education on the disorder. If you're in a conversation with someone and the person with Tourette syndrome isn't there, but someone makes a really awful Tourette syndrome joke, perhaps step in and provide some education and say, you know what, no, that's actually incorrect. The most important thing we want as people with Tourette syndrome is to feel some sort of stability in a world where we have so much lack of control. Be someone we can rely on to not encourage us to suppress and to not get angry when we have tics. Treat us with respect and like you would anyone else. We are wired to tick and we need to tick. Be our friends and don't be afraid of us. I know the media has made it seem like Tourette's is some awful thing, but in reality, we're just human beings too who want some support and love. Laugh with us, but don't laugh at us. Humor is a great way to support Tourette syndrome, but laughing at us is a big no. Laughing at our struggles is just something that we don't encourage. If we have a funny vocal tick, sure, you can laugh with us, but never mock or belittle us. Don't bring up our ticks when you're not seeing them because that will actually cause us to start ticking again. And please don't blame us. I started this video saying that it's not our fault that we tick, and I'm gonna end it saying that it's not our fault that we tick. Be kind, be understanding, be forgiving, and be supportive. I know it may not seem like the easiest thing to love or support someone with Tourette's syndrome because there is such a lack of control on both ends, but as people with Tourette's syndrome, our empathy is unmatched, and all we want is some love and respect. Remember, we didn't choose this, so again, even though Tourette syndrome may present both of us with struggles with the lack of control that it offers, let's just be kind to one another. We are so lucky to have you as an ally and thank you for your love and support. Signed, your friend with Tourette syndrome.